Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have a very exciting video for you guys today. We will be unboxing the new iPhone 14 Pro Max, the purple 512 gigabyte. Purple is my favorite color, so when Apple came out with a purple iPhone, I ran to the store, or like, I ran to the store in my mind because I totally forgot to pre-order it. When I checked online, the 14 was sold out like literally at every Apple store. If I were to pre-order or like order for online, it would take like a month to get here. And I feel like a month is very long, so I wanted to get it as soon as I could. I was actually scrolling online at 5 a.m. and on the Apple store, one store near me had buy online pickup in stores. When I picked up my iPhone, the worker also said I was very lucky to get it because they've been sold out everywhere. Before we head into this unboxing, I wanted to show you guys how to back up all your data on your current iPhone because they changed it. Before you were able to go to your settings and it would be on the home screen of your settings and now they changed it so you have to go to transfer and from there you press get started and then you'll be able to access the iCloud backup that you get for free with iCloud backup I realized that it doesn't back up on cellular data so I had to leave my phone at home for like two days straight because I was still backing up so just keep that in mind if you're trying to back up all your photos from like the past like few years I have like probably like 80,000 photos so it took quite a while my first impressions about this box is it's actually pretty heavy I think the iPhone 14 is a little bit heavier than iPhone 13 this box is also thin because there's no charging block inside which is really sad because I haven't had a charging block since they took it away so now I'm only down to like two so I only have like one USB-C charging block and the other one is the regular USB that they don't really use anymore. Besides unboxing this iPhone, I also got some phone cases and screen protectors that I will be showing you guys in this video and let's head on into this unboxing. While my phone is still updating, I want to show you guys what's inside the box. First, we always have our little notebook that comes with our iPhone. In this little folder, you have your sticker, your SIM eject tool, and your manual. These are the three things that it comes with, and this year, especially for the iPhone 14, they're taking away the physical SIM card and they're changing it for the eSIM card. So you just need to activate your eSIM during setup. The workers told me to hold on to my physical SIM card just in case I need it. So for the iPhone 14, you're not going to get the physical SIM eject tool. I love collecting Apple stickers. I don't know what what to do with them but I just love collecting them they're so aesthetic the next thing that comes in the box is this charging cord for the accessories I have this penguin cord protector this really protects your cord from getting frail when the wires start to come out because it's really damaged because you're always bending it so this really protects your cord I got this from Shein for like one or two dollars the next thing I have is this penguin cord tire this really ties your cord together so it doesn't get everywhere the next three things I have are phone cases I probably use like one a year because I'm just so lazy to change it out but I promise myself that I will actually use all of these this year my favorite one is my boba one i get like one boba a day so when i saw this this is literally me in a phone case shipping took about a month so just keep that in mind if you want a phone case from i don't remember where i bought this from i think i bought this from society six and when you get it, it doesn't come in like you know the phone case bag like just like a plastic bag to protect it probably order from a different website for next time next phone case i got is from sheen it's this cloud clear phone case 
I currently have the iPhone 13 Pro Max and I've been using this phone case from Sheen ever since. It just gets really yellow because clear phone cases get yellow easily, but I think they're really long lasting. This is the gummy bear one and it's been protecting my phone ever since the beginning of this year. There's like scratches and stuff from when I dropped my phone multiple times and it's been holding up really well. You pay so much for the color of your phone, I feel like you should be able to see the color of your phone. So I have this clear phone case. It comes with like other things too, which I think is really cool. It comes with a lanyard and oh, it actually comes with two lanyards. The last thing I have is this screen protector. I always have to get a screen protector for my phone because I'm very clumsy and I always drop it. I use this for my iPhone 13 Pro Max. I've had the same one ever since I put it on. I also like how it comes with this guide because once you put the guide on, you just have to put your screen protector here and it fits in place. I feel like whenever I search for a screen protector, a lot of other companies don't have this guide so your screen protector can like move around. It comes with three of them and you only need one out of the three. These screen protectors last so long, I would really recommend it. And they're only on Amazon for about six or seven dollars Hi friends, I'm back. My phone finally finished updating. It updated overnight and now it's finally ready to use. Look how pretty it is. The purple is so pretty. I'm so happy Apple came out with this color because I would have never expected that they would come out with a purple one. I know they came out with like a lavender light purple color. So first impressions, the camera for this iPhone is a lot bigger compared to the 13 and any other phone they had in the past. They still kept the same material on the side so every time you touch it, the fingerprints appear which I don't really like so I wish they would change that about their future iPhone. They also took out the slot for the physical eSIM card so only the 13 has the physical eSIM card. Now for the 14, they're changing it to eSIM so if you have a non iPhone it might be difficult for you to transfer data but if you transfer from iPhone to iPhone you just have to go to your settings and activate your eSIM from there. The 13 is on the bottom and it still has the eSIM card and then the 14 they took it out completely. Compared to the 13, the 13 has this little notch up here and then for the 14 they're introducing their dynamic island. The dynamic island was one of the features I was really excited about because you can control all your music, your timer, other features from the island and it goes around with you. Let's try it. We'll set the time my iCloud is still backing up so I don't have all my apps yet but we have the clock though so we can set a timer for like I don't know an hour and see if it appears and here it is it's on the top and then when you tap it it goes directly back to your timer one more thing that I noticed is the display never turns off here's my display right now and if I were to click the power button it just dims a bit. It doesn't go completely black, which I don't really like about it. I feel like there's a way to change this, but I haven't played around with it yet because when I sleep, I don't want like this light coming out because I feel like it'll be a ghost like staring at me. You can now customize your home screen, which I think is pretty cool. So I think you have to hold it. And from there, you can click on customize or this plus button. And then there's these different home screens that you can choose from. There's so many. And last but not least, I wanted to show you guys iPhone case I'll be using currently. Here's the phone case I'm currently going to be using. I really like the design of this and I like how you can see the purple for my iPhone. I'll be comparing the iPhone 13 Pro Max camera quality with the iPhone 14 Pro Max camera quality. That's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed unboxing the iPhone 14 Pro Max with me. I will link everything in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!